like the way it came out. I hope you do too. Um, and if you don't, well, oh well, <laughs> it's my house. I do what I want. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm coming to you today from my kitchen, which is a different location. I'm usually sitting at my desk, but um, today is a different kind of video. It's kind of, I guess, a day in a life, if you will, kind of, sort of, not really, because my day started many, many hours ago. But I wanted to give you guys an update on my formal living room, which is right behind me. Um, I'm coming to you today from my kitchen because I've been just running around the house doing a lot of things. And so I wanted to give you an update on my formal living room. I am currently making the drapes and the seat covers for some of the seats in there. And then once I do that, I'll be done. So I want to just give you a little walkthrough of what the room is looking like and all that I've done in it. And that crazy stencil that never ended and just went on and on and on. And I, I swear I was like seeing spots. I was so over it. By the end, I was like, oh my God, I don't want to see another spot in my life but I really like the way it came out I hope you do too um, and if you don't well oh well <laughs> it's my house I do what I want no I really do hope you guys like it um, I think it, it was a really fun project and I hope it encourages you to like take some chances in your own home whether it be with wallpaper or a stencil um, I would have much preferred to wallpaper the room just because I'm I'm lazy I, like I don't want to do that much work you know what I mean like physically myself I like to start a project I don't like to finish a project when you're like halfway through and you're like oh my god I have so much more to go so but I actually funnily enough I would have loved to have wallpapered that room um, in like a Brunswick and Phil um, speckled blue and white wallpaper it was way too expensive I didn't have the budget for it um, not for this room not this year so I went with the stencil as a way less expensive alternative and it turned out great I really do like the way the stencil looks though it's not even like I'm, I'm just saying I like it because that's all I could do it's I'm surprised I like it as much as I do and it, it was a trial and error it wasn't like I did it and I immediately was like whoo because my first few tries were misses actually the first two colors I thought I were gonna was gonna do neither of them worked out well at all and then last minute before I threw in the towel, I decided to go and get a new um, color mixed at um, Ace Hardware. And when I came back and I tried that color, I was like, whoa, it, was, it made all the difference in the world. It was such a huge difference. And then I started loving it. So I'm gonna take you guys through that room and you know, show you the update of what's going on in there. And then what else do I have going on today? I, um, I'll show you the drapes that I'm working on. And I did a poll on my Instagram and it's still running, but um, I can see there's a clear winner. And what I did was I asked everybody if I should put a, ba uh, a solid navy blue, blue band on the drape. But I thought it would be like, you know, like 90% do the band, you know, 10% don't do the band, but it's actually right now it's like 60, 40, but I think the band is gonna win out because I'm leaning more towards the band the more I look at it. So I'll show it to you and you could hop on my Instagram and you can vote. Um, actually, by the time you see this video, the vote will be over. I will already have been sew sewing the drapes. So, but if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. Um, my Instagram is down below. So you could click on that and give me a quick follow because I like to post a lot of fun stuff, product stuff, um, but there's also a lot of behind the scenes shenanigans of what goes on here during the day. Um, it's usually me and my dog because my kids are at school, <laughs> but a lot goes on between Weezy and I. So, all right, let me take you on a tour of this um, formal living room and you can let me know what you think in the comments down below. So here it is. It's a really nice bright room and this wall is paneled so I didn't touch it. I left it alone because I love the wood paneling on the wall. Um, it gives it a really formal and nice look. And so there you can see in the corner I started, I went around the windows. I basically ended up doing the entire room. It was originally just supposed to be this wall. But once I did it, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna keep going with this because I really did like it and it just makes a huge difference. There's a lot of light coming in, so it's hard to kind of um, see 
see it clearly and see how the color really shows up in the room but it looks really good um, I'm really happy with it and I'm ready to add the drapes and everything else to finish up this room finally so one of the really cool things about um, updating and redoing this room a little bit was I got to finally display one of my favorite new obsessions which is Blanc de Chine and I'm not even sure that I'm saying that correctly it's basically white um, I guess Chinese porcelain um, they're usually these Guai Min I am totally butchering this um, I'm not even going to go into it these little white <laughs> um, white female I think they're female Buddhas if I'm not mistaken and I'm probably mistaken I should do my research but I love them and so I was able to like get a few of them I had one for the longest time so I was able to get a bunch of them and display them with my blue and whites and my food dogs I used to just have little blue and white vases up on those pedestals but I was finally able to get enough to like put all my um, Blanc de Chine um, statuettes up there and so yeah I kept the speckle going um, all around the room and I even brought it over to this side I'm really happy with it and I think once the drapes are up it's gonna look you know really finished and lovely and I love like that this room is really traditional but I have modern artwork in it to just you know add that really cool juxtaposition what else I also am working on a really fun Easter uh, table setting video and Passover table setting video which for me are almost gonna be one in the same because I think they're very close together so I'm probably gonna set the table for Passover's first this year set the table for Passover and maybe get rid of the Seder plate wash everything after Passover bring it back out for Easter have the other side of the family come over so um, I'm working on some stuff for that I stopped by Pier 1 today and I found these two really cool placemats that I like um, one is a placemat one is a charger so I'm gonna like try I bought one of each and I'm gonna try them out with my play settings and then figure out which one I'm gonna do for Easter um, and so I'll walk you you guys can take a look at that and maybe give me a comment on which one you like because there's a few weeks away before I get that going okay so these are the two chargers I got from Pier One and this is a fabric that I'm thinking of making a tablecloth out of it would be like a full-length tablecloth that went all the way down to the ground it'd be really dramatic and I want to do drapes in the same color which I'm probably gonna do anyway but not necessarily for Easter because I think if I had this on my table at Easter I would just use a white plain white plate because it's or you know maybe not I'm not quite sure but I do love this fabric and it's definitely coming in this room this is my dining room by the way which is like it's okay I'm, I don't love the navy walls anymore it's I did it like quickly because I needed to have this house at least painted I had it painted while I was still living in Bermuda I wasn't even here yet so I'm not in love with it but like it's the quickest way to I also this is also becomes this room is like storage for my lamps like when I'm working on lamps and things so as you can see these are some of my lamps and there's some Clorox over there okay my Amazon packages you know this is a behind the scenes look at design pretty don't you for one second think that my house is perfect all the time because it's because it is not so normally this is what this sparkly bit is what I have on my table down the center but now we're looking at these uh these this charger and these plates this placemat I got from Pier one and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna get them I bought one of each and if I decide on one of them I will go back and then I'll have to get 12 because this table, it seats 10, but we usually, because of the banquettes, are able to squeeze 12 in and we always have 12. Um, so yeah, so let me, let, let's play around with this for a second. So this one is like a charger that kind of looks like mosaic, which I really like, I think it's super pretty. And so here are my, no, this is my blue willow which would be like blue on blue. And as much as I love blue and white, it does get old sometimes. I wanna do something different, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, blue below is so classic, you can't, you can't be mad at it. See, like that to me looks fire. I love that. Hmm. And of course, I love this one the most and these are the most expensive. 
So they're 25 bucks a piece, and I need 12 of them. But there is currently a sale where all tabletop stuff at Pier 1 is 25% off, and the woman told me it's going to run for the rest of the month of March. So it's an investment, but it's like it's not like I'm never going to use them again. And they're just plain blue and white. They're not like Easter specific or any holiday specific. So I do like this. All right. So there's that. That's my blue, my blue willow. But then I also have my wedding china that I use a lot, which is more talky. I hope you guys use your wedding china if you guys have wedding china. Because people are always like, oh, I, don't, I wish I had that stuff, but I never use it. And it's like, well, use it. If you have your grandmother's china, use it. Use it always. I use my china. I put it in the dishwasher. I have crystal wine glasses. I wash it by hand. It's okay. Um, I've broken a few along the way and then I go on eBay because it's out of print and I find them um, And whenever I catch a sale, I always buy a few extra because things break, but that's okay So this is the, the my wedding china with the with the charger, which I like too. I think it's really pretty actually and Let's see how this looks here See this looks amazing to me See the, it pops Oh, I almost said that I was almost gonna say it pops and I went on a whole tirade about how I hate when people say that. This looks really good to me. Like I'm I'm feeling this. This is the one. Of course it's the one. It's the one that costs the most. Of course that's the one that I like. Always happens to me. <sighs> Damn my good taste. Um yeah, I really like this one. So I will probably be going back to get 11 more of these and I will return this guy, which is very pretty too. Yeah, this is amazing. Like this I love. Winner! I'm still champion. I still am going to end up making drapes and a tablecloth out of this, but it won't be for this setting. Um, will I have the drapes up by Passover? We can make that a goal. Be a good goal, but I don't know if it's going to happen. So here my, I don't know, the sun's coming in so you can't really see. This room just has these two. That's me. Hey! has these two windows and then this mirrored buffet and it's my tripod. Okay, this is very behind the scenes video today. My God, these are my little Asian men. I'm in ginger jars. One day, when I, one day I'll do a full video of this room. Yeah, I really like this one. This is gonna be it. So I had a little bit of time, I decided to head over to Pier 1 um, to see if I could find some more placemats. And then I get there and look what I see, these cute, cute reproduction um, faux bamboo dressers. I feel like Pier 1's re reading my mind. I wanted to do the same thing. So I found my placemats and I only sna I snagged a few, whatever they had I took. So I came to Pier 1 because my son has physical therapy, so I had some time and I only could get five of them, five placemats. So I have one at home. Apparently a lot of Pier 1 stores are closing. I did not know. Maybe that's why they're closing. I didn't know. I would have shopped more. Um, so I got five, so now the hunt starts for me to like go and find every single one of these that I can find until I have 12. <sighs> Good luck. So two of the stores in my area have them. So tomorrow, that's what I'll be doing. Hey guys, so I'm back at home now. It is now the evening. Um, I got some of the placemats and I, instead of hopping around tomorrow, I was just like, bah. I sat in my car and I just went on the Pier 1 website and I ordered, um, the remaining uh, placements and so they'll be here in like five to seven business days and that's it I'm done so I will be shooting a uh, Easter tablescape video I am mixing in some Passover with that that's kind of blasphemy right for some people but that's my life um, and yeah, it was a really busy day. One day I'm going to film a full like day in the life video. My days are long though. They're kind of exhausting. They start at like 5.30 and go usually till about 11.30. Um, but I'll show you what, what goes on here. And um, otherwise, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.